Just got off of work, man. <clears throat> Do not let your nine to five job get in the way of what you're passionate about or your purpose, like what you feel like your true calling is or whatever. Don't ever let your nine to five job get in the way of that, man. Ever. Because your nine to five job can be very draining if you let it, you know, if you let it drain you, it will. But you just got to try to keep your purpose and your mission and your passion like that's first. You know what I'm saying? Like your nine to five job is second, but like all that other stuff that that comes first, you know, um, because like, I almost I almost didn't even record this video. I'm not going to lie to you. Cause I'm feeling a little tired, which is not normal for me. I'm usually my not my. I usually don't really get tired like that, um, unless it's time for me to go to bed, obviously. But I almost, I almost let it get in the way of me not recording something. Cause I really didn't know what I wanted to talk about at all. To be real with you, I just know I wanted to record something, <clears throat> and then it just kind of hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause the way I look at it is. The nine to five job, you know, working full time, five days a week, forty hours a week, or whatever. Um, it's like designed to like just drain you. Like it's designed to train you and keep you on that hamster wheel. You run and run and run and run and run, and you're not getting fucking nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And I realized that it didn't take me long to realize that. Like I kind of realized it before I started working because I just paid attention to everybody that was older than me. Like I paid attention to everybody around me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I always looked at it, I was like, man, I'm not trying to be one of these people that just let their job take over their life. And then, you know, they just get older and time move faster. And then they don't know what, what the fuck happened to the rest of to their life. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just, they gave it all today to their job. And it's something that they don't even love. You know, I didn't want to be one of those people, you know. So that's why I do what I do now. And I make time for the things that I give a, like, the, the things that I give a fuck about. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was watching this one video. Uh, I can't remember the title of the video, but basically what he was saying was, he was saying, you know, you go to work when they tell you to. You know what I'm saying? When you get there, you you do what everybody want. You do what what you're what, what you're told, pretty much. You do what your boss tells you to do all day. But when it comes time for you to do the things that you want to do for you or you need to do for you. There's resistance. And I had to think about that for a second. I was like, damn, that's some real ass shit because we get so used to being told what to do and not just doing what we want to do or doing what, like, just, just, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, just doing the things that we really want, like going for the things that we really want out of life. Like, there's resistance there. But when it comes to working a nine to five job and shit like that, it's like, it's, it's whatever Like oh I gotta do this I gotta be here I gotta You know what I'm saying And we gotta switch that You know what I'm saying Like that's that's something That I'm really trying To pay attention to right now Is really trying to reframe that And kind of viewing This You know what I'm saying As My main thing And my Job As my side thing You know what I'm saying Even though it's really The other way around Because I'm not making No money here yet But I'm trying to flip it In my mind So that way it's easier For me to get in that mindset Of this is what I need To be doing and this is what I want to be doing. So I need to be putting more time and energy and effort into this. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much what I had on my chest. I just wanted to get that out before I went home. So <laughs> That's pretty much it, man. Y'all take it easy. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.